How are you feeling for the Olympics? Uh, <laughs> I am feeling like a bunch of different emotions. Um, excited, but yet overwhelmed, nervous. Um, I feel happy as well. But it's just a whole bunch of emotions just running through my body and in my mind right now. And what would it mean, I mean, to come back with a medal for your country especially? It's first ever Olympic medal. Yeah, I'm trying to not put any pressure on myself in terms of that, but just go out there and have fun. But I'm sure they're really awaiting that, awaiting a medal, because they haven't got any Olympic medals yet. Like, it will mean a lot to them, I'm sure. And speaking of that, winning a medal for your country, going back to Glasgow at the World Indoors, yeah. winning that medal again for your country, what was that reception like when you got back home? Oh, it was amazing. Just seeing, I had like a welcome ceremony, um, seeing everybody at the airport waiting for me, people on sticks, um, the kids dancing, um, and just seeing how I celebrated after that, and everybody lined up along the coast of the island, um, just cheering me on as I made my way up to the north. It felt great and I felt honored and I just felt like I was appreciated and all my heart was just being appreciated during that time. And how has training been for you in the last few weeks, I guess, few months? It's been good actually. I'm just really trying to work on sharpening up and just working on my technique, most importantly. Um, I'm just trying to visualize like each race as I get on. I'm just trying to just have fun with that. But it's been good, training has been really good. And last question from me is coming from a British perspective, we know that Dina um, joined your training group at yes. the end of last year. What is that like to train alongside someone like Dina, but also then to go up against her head to head? Yeah, but it's competitive all year, like all around. Just in practice, we go in the blocks, it's competitive. During like repetitions, it's competitive. So it's also like very good quality training. Um, but we, we also know like also to separate the two, like you have fun and when it's time to compete, you just separate the two. Going back to that medal in Glasgow, you have some terrific quotes about um, how like kids and stuff would be inspired by your performance. Yeah. Yeah, do you feel like being here on the stage that you're doing it for more than just yourself? Yes, definitely. It's always more than just myself. Like I have my nephews at home watching me, my little sister watching me. So it's always never about me. And when I'm on the track, I think about just myself. Then for Julian first, and then everybody else comes up. Because sometimes it can be, it can feel like pressure, knowing that I have to represent so many other people at the same time and just doing it for them. But it's always, it's always feel like I'm doing it for the youth of the country, the youth. You know, in St. Lucia, and just hoping that we can have like many more like me because we all start somewhere inspired by somebody, and I'm hoping to be the inspiration for like a lot of youth in St. Lucia. Is your family into athletics? No, I'm the first person to run in my country, um, in my family. Sorry, um, my brother, I don't know if you call it football, just because in the US you call it soccer, but my brother, my brother did, um. He did soccer, football, <laughs> but I'm the only person in my family who did track and field. Nobody else, yeah. So, what, how did you start track and field? I started track and field just running at primary school and um, running for my for my color house, the beautiful color house is in the Caribbean. Um, and then just getting picked up by a coach um, called Cuthbert Modest, who just took me under his wing and coached me until I trans transferred to Jamaica for school and also track and then to Texas. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, I asked Jaden the same question um, about warm-up songs. Are there any, any particular songs that you like to listen to when you're warm-ups? What are they and why? Um, I listen to a lot of like dance songs, to be honest. Not those that struggle or anything, but those that always talk about like where people came from and just seeing where they are now. Um, I listen to soca music. Um, some of those just make me have fun and loosen up and just probably dance a little like while I'm warming up. Right now, I'm listening to a Calypso that was made um, not too long ago. Um, it's made about the Olympics. Um, I think it's in his dead real long from St. Lucia, so I'm listening to that when I warm up as well. Just to get that inspiration and just to like feel. 
feel good about myself. I'm just realizing like where I'm at and what I'm about to do. Um, that's pretty much it. And when I'm getting ready, I listen to gospel music. Gospel music just to like, keep me calm because while I'm getting ready, I'm like super nervous. I'm like, okay, this is good. I have to get ready now. I have to like be on the track soon. Um, so let's not get ahead of myself and just remaining calm with God's word and just the gospel. It's really helpful for me as well. What, which songs in particular, which, which gospel songs in particular do you like to listen to? I love listening to Foam Foundation. Um, and then there's another one, I think it's, her name is Jacqueline Carr. It's, it's called You Will Win. Um, there's another one called Evidence, just talking about like, God has come to you so many times, so um, giving you evidence that you can do what, what you set out to do and just trust in that. So, different ones. You mentioned soccer as well. I love soccer music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love it too. Uh, is there a particular artist from soccer that you Um, I love Kiss. Um, there's a few from St. Lucia as well, like Arthur Allen. Um, I li I listen I'm listening to a new song called um, Down Proud Lucian by Sly. I listen to some Dick Demi segment here and there, but these are like the main people that I listen to right now. It's not just coming It's not just coming It's not just coming It's not just It's not far from French Caribbean No, they're not. Do you listen to the French? No. I barely know French myself. Like even though like we speak French for you all in San Lucia and they do speak speak it in like our different segment or like our music sometimes. I think that leaving so early and just not being spoken to in like Creole it made it hard for me to like know what the meaning of some things now but I know a little, a little bit of like French Creole I think based on context I'll understand yeah. and going back to you mentioned there you were in Jamaica for quite a while yeah. what was that experience like to be in the world of sprinting I guess yeah. it was it was new. Coming from a Caribbean, well, San Lucia, where track and field wasn't really a big sport. Mm -hmm. Yes, you would, you would have like a few track meets, but it wasn't as big as it is in Jamaica. You know, but going to Jamaica and just seeing how the track and field is appreciated there and just being part of that culture it was a really cool experience, to be honest. And when you were younger, did you ever? Was this your dream from all, from the beginning? Yeah, but I, I think it's not specifically being an Olympian. I think it was more being like like Usain Bolt. That really was my dream. Not about being like an Olympian. I want to be at the Olympics one day, but it was more like I want to be just like Usain Bolt. I want to be fast like Usain Bolt. That was really for me. <laughs> Have you taken anything from? I guess his racing, any like tips, anything at all? No, because everybody is different. Mm -hmm. I think based on your height, based on your size, like you can't really copy what somebody else is doing, but find out what works for you. And I've been, I just want to win like him, have as much medals like, like him, and just be an amazing athlete all around like him, you know? And did you do this collegiate route as well over in America? I did. I did five years at University of Texas. How was that? I mean, it was great. Over there. Um, I learned a lot about myself in the last two years. It was nothing short of amazing for me. Um, and I'm really happy I, I got that experience being a grown up. From those Jamaica, America and St. Lucia, what's the difference between all three of them? I mean, any similarities at all? I think that each one I went to, I realized how the sport is taken seriously um, and also the amount of opportunities that you have is different in each place. Like the opportunities, opportunities that you would have in Jamaica, you won't have in San Lucia. Or those you have in the US, you won't have it in Jamaica. So different opportunities in different places. Yeah. And if you, if you could have uh, the athletics, would you have done <laughs> I think that I have never done any other sport growing up, but I think if I had to do another one, it would be volleyball. I like watching it, but if I had to do another event, I'm already shocked. No jumping. I do not like jumping. 
<laughs> doing plyos, I hate it. My coach always get on me about doing plyos, but I think other sport it will be volleyball, other event it will be shuffle. Have you done shuffle before? Yes, growing up. I did. I did have top on before I went to Jamaica. So I did shuffle like. I wasn't the best, but <laughs> why did you shuffle growing up? Yeah. What do I like? I don't know what I like in shuffle to be honest. I think it's just better than doing long jump, better than doing triple jump, better than doing javelin. I just think that's the best for me, apart from like, and I'm not doing hurdles for nothing. I'm not about to fall off. So I think the safest would be for me shuffle.